Hello there, my name is Jason Schmaltz and I'm an AMGA single pitch instructor and today I'm going to show you how to haul with the 3 to 1 and 5 to 1 system. And this is really useful for when you're playing from the top either in a single pitch or multi pitch scenario where your follower is maybe stuck on a part or uh, needs a little extra boost and uh, or they just flat out got tired and you need to haul them past a certain point. So I'm going to show you both systems and uh, how you can use them and go from there. So um, right now I have my climber uh, down below and they're at a stopping point and need me to help them. So the first part of any haul system that you need to have is a progress capture, which in this case I'm using a Grigri. Uh, there are other uh, devices you can use or even you can just use a carabiner if you have someone else with a double prussic system here monitoring that. Um, but uh, in this case we're going to use a Grigri. And um, the second part of a haul system that you need is a hitch that can grab the climber's rope. So if I'm belaying someone, before I go to set up the haul system, I'm going to go ahead and tie an overhand, uh, even though I'm using a Grigri just to have a double backup so that in case something happens um, my climber is not going to fall to the ground. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and set up my uh, prussic hitch. Um, I'm going to use a hollow block but you can use any prussic loop to do this and hopefully my GoPro uh, shows you up close how it looks to tie it. So you want to take the tab uh, and have it close to the bend that's going to come toward you, but not on the bend. And loop through three times, so there's one. And then there's two. And then there is three. And you can see I tried to make it uh, so that each loop I got closer and closer to the middle. And now I'm kind of Dress it up so you can see there we have everything nice and rope. <clears throat> so I can test it and that's definitely grabbing the rope. So from here I need to connect um, my, my pulling with uh, that pressing. So we're going to use a carabiner and then brake line through that I will be pulling on. Okay. And then I want to move this pressic as far down as I can. So hopefully that's all in the frame. I think it is. And now I'm ready to haul. So I'll go ahead and take this knot out. So it doesn't get in the way. And I can start to haul up my climber with a three to one advantage. And as this pressic gets closer to my Grigri, where I lose leverage um, or it just runs into it and I can't pull anymore, I need to move this pressic back down while keeping my hand on the brake hand, okay, or on the brake line. So I'll move this pressing back down. Notice that my brake line will get sucked back through this carabiner. That's okay. Just move my hand out of the way and let it go back through. But the climber's rope is not moving because my progress capture is, is working. And then same thing again. Three to one. Okay. The way that you know it's a three to one is the um, main principle that the force on one side of a carabiner is equal to the other side. So in this case, we have one carabiner in the system, one Jason is on one side, and that means that one Jason is on the other side, both pulling up for a total of two Jasons right here. Okay? The third, uh, Jason is found as you go around the Grigri, which in this example is just like another carabiner. It's just another bend. So 
remember we said one Jason here, so there's one Jason here, which means if there's one Jason here, there's one Jason here for a total of two plus one. Okay, so that's how that system works. Okay, it's really easy uh, from this point to go from a three to one to a five to one. Uh, if you're trying to haul up a grown adult, you're probably going to need to use a five to one. Okay, so I will unclip the uh, brake line for a second. I can either hold it, which I will in this example just for speed, and I need to introduce a sling. You could also use a cordelette um, on this, but basically I need to have uh, some type of extension attached to a fixed point of the master point. So this is fixed. This can't go anywhere. Okay. And then instead of putting my brake line through the carabiner on the Prusik, I put this sling or cordelette through the carabiner. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then I put a carabiner on that sling or cordelette or uh, whatever I used. And now that is where my brake line goes. And then I lock down again. Okay. So now we can go through the math. We have one Jason here, and then a carabiner, and then one Jason here. So that's two at this point. So then I have two Jasons here, and then I have another carabiner, which means I have two Jasons here which is a total of four at this point. But then I still have my original loop through the climber's rope going through the gree, gree of one Jason going through the gree, gree down to the pressing. So I have a total of four plus one equals five. Okay. Again, I'll move this pressing down as far as I can before I start to suck the carabiner through the other carabiner. That's kind of my stopping point. And I can haul now with a five to one. You can see the system comes up much faster, but it's also much easier. Okay, so that's the thing to remember as you're building mechanical advantage systems. The higher ratio you get, the more repetition you have to do to get the same distance, but it's easier. This is much easier than the three to one, okay? I hope that's helpful for you in uh, setting up Paul systems uh, to help your friends. Um, once you're done, it's quite easy to disassemble and go right back on belay. So I'll still keep a hand on a brake hand. Take sling out for my 5 to 1. I can put that there. If I wasn't on a ledge, I could just put it on my body. Still have my hands on the brake and I can disassemble this press it. Go ahead and take the carabiner off. Pull the press it loop through. Kept the brake in my hand the whole time. And now I'm ready to continue belaying as the climber climbs, okay? I hope that you found that video helpful and uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any questions about hull systems or their application. And please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.